30 for me. Ooh. I got the 30. What's good? Yeah. Yeah. And the Dotana ain't playing with your stuff. And in any of your stuff. And in all your stuff, baby. And in all your stuff, baby. Nice. Y'all, this is my sister's new dog, Salem. And she is just the cutest little thing. She is so sweet and so cute. My mom and I came to the park after picking up Solar and the boys from Carlos and it was so beautiful here. Like I really love this park. And thanks to my mom and her beautiful encouragement, I met a new mom friend that I really feel that I'm in alignment with and she is definitely gonna be a part of my divine tribe. So I'm so grateful for that and I'm so grateful for my mom and just having this day to experience in general. After a long day of running around with the boys, we came home and I made some veggie pasta and some roasted red mashed potatoes for nature because yes, my baby has been gleaming <laughs> and um, he's been eating a little bit better and smaller portions of what we eat. Part of our day earlier was to go and pick this yellow watermelon up from a friend. Um, and y'all, I think I was more excited about it than I probably should have been. But let's get right into it, cause yeah. <laughs> Another thing, y'all do know that all fruit is different. So where one might not be a good experience for me, you may have a good experience yourself. And I'm definitely not gonna give up on the yellow watermelon. I just know that this one was not what I thought, okay? Ooh, she's so pretty. So pretty. It kind of smells like, it reminded me of like some type of Asian cuisine, like a sweet Thai sauce or something. That's what it kind of makes me feel like a Thai chicken or something. Smell like the seasoning, I mean like the, you know. It has dinosaur seeds in it. And when I say dinosaur seeds, these are not chewable seeds to me. The watermelon is not sweet. Um, it has more of a earthy taste. Mm -hmm. That's the taste that ruins me away. It got pecan seeds in it. The seeds are huge though. Yeah. Like these are dinosaur seeds and I think they would make like a good powder. I'm definitely going to save them because I think this is a cool breed of watermelon and it's more savory. So I would put this in like a salad mm. um, or something like that. It would be yummy with that. Oh, it would probably be really good if you mix this like made a juice combination with the yellow and the red and lemonade. Ooh, mm. that would be really good. So me and the family took a quick little day trip down to Landon, North Carolina. I hope I'm saying that right. But Carlos had been telling me for a while he wanted to take me on a date here. And he we decided to bring his mom along so she could watch the kids. It was pretty cool. But this right here is called The Pits. It is a super cool, definitely a great place to have a birthday party. Um, they had an arcade area, like a split floor upstairs, downstairs. They had this little... Um, I guess it's called virtual reality. They had this other side to it that was really cool. They also have birthday party rooms if you want to host a party there and also a track for kids, you guys. Like I was super excited to hear about that. 
um, they had these for the little kids and then they also had these little spinner things that was also pretty cool that you could ride on as an adult or for the kids as well um, but great place to throw a party definitely a hidden gem in Linden North Carolina solar definitely had a good time but y'all let me give y'all this quick little story time so me and Carlos are down here riding on these go-karts the go-karts probably go about 55 miles per hour somehow him and I were coming around the bend at the same time and my brake line gave out y'all and I literally ran slam dead into the side of the tire wall and I really hurt myself I didn't realize how bad I hurt myself but I actually had a minor concussion and um I bruised my shoulder and had a lot of bruises on my legs and some of the brake fluid had actually splashed up on my leg and kind of burned a little hole through my leggings y'all it was a lot and guess what my ass got right back on there and rode again but it was so much fun my adrenaline was pumping a lot and I didn't realize I was hurt when I was hurt I thought that you know I would be okay and your girl it was really out of commission for like two three days after this like I felt that in my whole entire body like I really felt like I got into a real car accident you could not tell my body otherwise so whenever you do go to places like this just be safe and just know that you signed a liability form pretty much stating that if this were to happen that you are agreeing and understand that that is what could happen um so yeah that was that anyways the boys did have a great time solar got to play a lot of the arcade games y'all as i was looking at this i was i was low-key cringing because normally i'm a germaphobe when it comes to like my baby's touch and stuff and things but again i don't think my brain was working correctly after my concussion on the racetrack <laughs> no i'm just kidding but he did enjoy himself and i would recommend this as a place to take your kids for like a party it was very very cool um some of their machines were out of order, but they still had a lot of other arcade machines that you could access and actually play. And after we were finished, Solar did go ahead and cash in his tickets and he got himself a little flashlight. And he was so happy. We actually had a great time out here. And thanks to Carlos's mom for watching the kids for us while we got a chance to ride the go-karts. It was super fun outside of my wreck and concussion. Um, but yeah, I would do it again. Your flashlight, it works in the dark. Oh, you like it? All right, y'all. I woke up this morning, or actually the night before, and realized that it was time for me to truly clean my couch, okay, because it's a nasty mess. And honestly, I wanted to throw the couch completely out, but my mom said, no, ma'am, you better wash that couch and clean it. So I pulled out my um handheld carpet cleaner and decided to go ahead and put in some work while the kids played around so the first thing i did was had to remove the cushion so that i could like vacuum y'all i don't know how often y'all do this but i literally vacuum my couch like you see the seating of the couch every time i vacuum my floor i'm vacuuming my floor at least once a day or maybe even twice a day so i usually try and touch this area when I do vacuum, but you can see that that kind of got, got neglected as well because your girl has just been doing so many other things that sometimes the small things just get overlooked and that's okay because we're going to take care of it right now. So I went ahead and vacuumed the seats really, really good. You'll be surprised what you find in your couch. Your couch literally eats everything, okay? I'm going to say that again. Your couch literally eats everything, okay? Um, And so I went ahead and vacuumed my floor as well and moved everything around while the babies were doing what they do and can i just say this really quick having children is not an excuse to keep a dirty house to me 
I just feel like, you know, children don't really understand the concept of cleaning up after themselves. So it's very important for them to see that that space is still maintained and it's still clean for them. You don't want to normalize children being in nasty or dirty or unstructured or, or unorganized spaces because they will actually live that way. They will actually start to take on those same personalities and those traits or bad habits that are not necessarily good for them. And they will live that way and think that it's normal because they were brought up in an environment where mama wasn't cleaning up. You know, mama wasn't wiping things down. And so they normalize that. And I feel like sometimes, especially for boys, boys can be a little bit nasty. Okay. And one thing about my boys, one, Solar is a Virgo. So he's very anal about things and his cleanliness is going to be top notch. It's going to be top tier regardless. But boys sometimes are okay with the mess. And I just know for a fact, my boys are not going to be okay with the mess. Y'all, let me tell you about Solar. He watched me while I did this and he plotted on me the entire time. He knew at some point he was going to come and take over and be a part of all of the cleaning action. Okay. Also, I will link down in my Amazon store where I purchased my um, carpet cleaner from my handheld carpet cleaner. It really does work really good. Okay. It got all of the stains out of my carpet and I'm sorry, out of my couches. And I also did work on the floors a little bit as well. I know one of the main questions will be, well, how long does it dry? Well, okay, it's really going to be based on how much you soak your couch, okay? Because every time you're pulling this little handle, you can also squirt water, but it's always pulling and sucking water out of the couch. So if you put a lot of the solution in your couch, it's going to take it longer to dry. I did not use a lot of solution. I tried to stay in the same spot and just continue to suck it up as much as possible and it did work um i think it took my couches maybe a full day to dry so the rest of this evening and then the next morning they were pretty much dry i did also go ahead and spot clean parts of my floor that had a few stains on it from the boys and another thing y'all i be letting my boys eat around the house but i really feel like that needs to stop because they need more structure in table etiquette you know and how to really sit down at the table and act because we can't go nowhere um in public or to like a regular restaurant because my boys don't have that they don't have that we don't sit at a kitchen table together as a family and so i think that that's something that may need to change a little bit and i'm not very traditional when it comes to a lot of shit anyway but I do want them to have a little bit better um, table etiquette. So I'm definitely going to have to get me a kitchen table and start teaching that. Um, and then also it'll help me from having to do things like this as often. Because when I say they will spill some shit and not care, okay, they don't care. So I'm the only one having to care. So I'm the only one that is going to actually tell them, like, you can't eat in here. You can't do this in here. And it'll hopefully help to maintain my space. And I don't want to hear, oh, they're young, you know, whatever, whatever. You can do what you want. I'm not walking around with no dirty house just because my kids are young, okay? And they're going to keep making a mess. I'm going to keep cleaning up. <laughs> I know I just worked on cleaning most of my plants, but I still didn't repot them or change some of their pots out. But today was the day. No more waiting. I had to go ahead and take care of my peace lily honey because she started to completely turn. And I just knew that if I didn't put her in a pot soon, she needs a lot of grounding. Peace lilies are really lacky and finicky and she needs a grounding. So I had to go ahead and put her in a pot. So she can kind of settle in and do her thing. You know what I'm saying? We need healthy growth around here. And so I did that and I worked on a few more of my plants and just really enjoyed my evening. I always enjoy my time with my plants. It's very therapeutic for me and I just can't wait until I'm actually in the ground and not in these pots, okay? If you know, you know. And let me just say, most of my days are filled with getting something done. And I'm not going to lie to you, I really require a simple life um, because I like to enjoy the journey of it all and actually see what's going on and recognize things for what they are. And sometimes when you find yourself so busy all the time, you are only focusing on what's happening in the now. And that's a beautiful space to be in, but I want my now to be even more simple than... Um, 
vacuuming floors or washing dishes, you know, washing a bunch of dishes and things like that. And I've just been trying to figure out how I can make my life a little bit more simple. Um, and there are just a lot of things that are slowly and um, still very present that maybe the van life or the schooly life may be the best thing for me um, just for a while because... I don't know, I'm just shifting into a new space and the simplicity of it all is kind of what I've been going for. And if that's where my life takes me in this next chapter, I'm welcoming it, okay? But I do love my plants very much and they always kind of help me to reflect. And it leads me back to a place of thinking and processing my life as it is. And I think that just might be a spiritual connection to working with plants or something because anytime I touch my plants I start tapping into spaces and reflecting on things that I probably needed to but never really had the chance to because I'm so busy and consumed and indoctrinated by all of these things around me um you know to be able to silence your mind and just have that deep connection with your plants to think and reflect is so beautiful and I'm grateful that I really have these moments where I can kind of go back in my life and just redirect things, analyze it, and if it's not working, fix it, okay? I am definitely one of those people who, I'm a fixer of things, okay? I like to get shit done. When I find out something is not working, it's time to go ahead and move into something new and start doing what you got to do, you know? Um, These are all of my plants that got some TLC today and dirtied up okay my sunroom but they are all looking and doing so well she's just doing as she did but yeah plants are doing well and looking even better and yeah I finished my night by cooking for the boys, giving them a bath, made myself a sweet potato baby, and I called it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really appreciate your engagement. Peace.